So really quick, uh, they did an update to the ranking programming languages by energy efficiency, which I find very interesting because if you look at the data, you can summarize it down to a simple chart. And this is what you get. And so I'm going to, yeah, that's right. So the fun thing about this is that Rust is still slower than C. Uh, they've made some great improvements for making things faster. But not only is it less energy efficient, but it's also slower and it uses more memory. Um, I find it interesting that Go is somehow uh, actually winning on the RAM usage thing. And I suspect that might be because of some internal optimizations around taking effectively the symbol table and feeding it as a Patricia tree or prefix tree, also known as a try. And so in result of that is that's very interesting because they're actually scaling that out in a different way. Uh, but I don't believe that is, you know, worth the other issues with Golang. Uh, the, the fun thing about this here is that everybody says that Rust is fast. And it is. Rust is fast. It can be faster than C++ in some cases. But I think the fun thing about this is that C still wins. Uh, in fact, they ended up using C as the basis for everything else because it was fast. And it took the least amount of energy to run. So now you're not going to write your code normally with the idea that you're going to be able to put your uh, energy bill on the line and you're not going to write your code thinking to yourself, well, you know, it'll, this, will lo this line of code will lower my energy bill, at least not if you're working on desktop systems. If you're working on mobile systems and you're absolutely going to be doing that because you want to save battery and that's why you do things like stay away from recursion on mobile systems. But the fun thing about this is that it, Flat out says again, even with all the different stuff going on, the actual compiled binary for Rust is still going to be slower than C. Now, I don't want to get into the political debate here around why that is, but, uh, you know, it's doing some cleanup for you. It's doing some tracking. It's doing some extra stuff. That's fine. But if you need speed and you need something that's going to take the least amount of power, C is still the choice. And it's probably going to be for the... For a while. I'm sure they're going to be doing some fun stuff with optimizations and they're going to try to bring that down even more. But I don't see Rust ever getting faster than C or taking less energy than C unless somebody sabotages the C runtime, which I don't see is happening. Uh, no pun intended. The, the fun thing about this, though, too, is it also does talk about things like. Uh, other, you know, other languages like Python. And if you look at Python, uh, I find it interesting. 75.88 times the amount of energy to run a Python script. And over 71, almost 72 times the, uh, the time taken on the CPU and everything to run Python over something written in C. And so if runtime performance is your issue, uh, that's the reason... Things like Java and, you know, C Sharp and so forth and .NET are on this list and they're, you know, they're much better performant. Um, if you look at this list, you can actually get a sense of what the enterprise languages are just on the metrics alone. Uh, you know, you've obviously people aren't really working with Pascal a lot these days, but C Sharp is a well-known enterprise language. And, uh, you know, C and C++ are well-known enterprise languages. Rust is getting there. It's not quite there yet. But it's interesting because every time you work with TypeScript, you're actually taking 20, over 21 times slower to do the work. And JavaScript is still going to be almost five times slower uh, in terms of uh, energy expenditure. If I go to the actual timetable here, I can say JavaScript is over six times slower, six, over six and a half times slower. And TypeScript is over... 46.2 times slower. And so this is interesting to me because when you really start getting into the flame wars between programming languages, you get a lot of people that just love their language and they love something about their language. 
and they don't look at it objectively. This has looked at it objectively. And so, again, here is the thing you should go look at. You probably have access to it through your institution. And Ranking Programming Languages by Energy Efficiency is the official title. And, uh, you know, go check that out.